Please do subscribe to my channel by clicking on that subscribe button and please also don't forget to hit that notification bell icon to be the first one to receive the updates on this channel. What's going on guys, Jonas here and today I'm bringing this video to you guys about the new servant that has been announced recently in the Air of Light, the Fire Mildred and she seems to be quite good. Anyways, let's start with her first skill, known as the Soul Drain. It summons a blood crystal that uses its uh, whatever it is. It says 70% chance to decrease the enemy defense for 30 seconds by level 5. Pretty much usual, pretty much, uh, you know, like the same thing. Uh, Dark Stream. Okay, increases the cost of stack for the 60 seconds by level 5. That's pretty normal, but the thing is that like she is gonna attack all enemies in a straight line. So pretty much it's a sort of like AoE skill. So that's pretty good, right? And now when it comes to the combo skill, her Dark Bloods Verdict. What's gonna do is that like it's only like uh, gonna deal damage to a single target. And what's it gonna do is like it really has a lot of description. It just says like oh <laughs> wait a minute it just says attack attacks an enemy by teleporting right in front of them through a dimensional door also a crystal of dark blood erupts from the ground to attack an enemy that's far away from the mildred oh my god <laughs> uh, uh, this, this is very very long i think i think this is a two target uh you know like uh uh Hitting combo skill, all right. So it deals damage to two, uh, two, two enemies, all right. <laughs> okay, and it deals uh, seven thousand seven hundred percent damage upon the skill use, all right. And then damage based on attack, so that is pretty much okay. Seven thousand seven hundred percent is pretty much standard for a five star net servant, all right. So this is pretty much okay. I think it deals damage to two, okay, one near. Uh, before whom she is teleporting and the another one which is like far away okay that dark blood eruption is gonna deal damage to the another one so that can actually be pretty good all right especially in the pvp battles it's gonna prove to be really really awesome guys and with the uh passive skill what there really is that it's a 50 percent chance to cast revive block on one enemy for 30 seconds upon the combo skill use all right i mean like She's a DPS servant, so this kind of thing really doesn't make any sense because she needs to be more offensive rather than going into like some sort of like you know tricky ish or something like that. Revive block is not even that kind of like uh, I really don't know what to say about it. It doesn't seem to be that effective in this game. Uh, but what do you guys say? Is please, uh, I mean, like, what do you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section below. All right, when battling a non water enemy, all right, uh, increases the damage by 30% open attack. All right, now that is pretty awesome, guys. 30%, um, uh, you know, like attack boost flat out. That is good, okay? That is good. And it's not on attack. It's actually on the damage, okay? So that's pretty good as well. And activated on the fourth awakening. If an ally Lucrecia is present, attack increases by 100%. Okay, that is pretty awesome as well. Because, like, she is kind of... I mean, like, Lucrecia is obviously, a, by default, she is a tank servant, right? And if you have the fire Lucrecia in your team, she is gonna also provide a 52% of defense boost. That is pretty awesome, guys. The uh, finally, a team passive attack of all enemy allies increases by 45% at PvP. Seems like she is really meant for the PvP battles. Our combo skill is actually pointing out through like that as well. I mean, like hitting two targets at a single attack. That is really really awesome, guys. And her passive skill is actually giving her a 30% like flat attack boost. That is really awesome. And revive block is some sort of like uh, I mean like you know uh, what to say okay I mean like in like a certain situation this can actually be really good but I really don't know like how to really actually define it for right now but seems like she's pretty much like averages okay I mean like I would really give her a rating of about like 7.5 to 8 over 10 not really that impressive but she's okay she's okay she's okay all right so uh, uh, so uh, let's see like what sort of gear build can we really give to her as obviously she is a ranged DPS seven, right and I would really go like to go with the Have a gear set all right as the final build up or you can also go with the beast gear plus the blade gear all right or eruption gear plus blade gear or You know like or just have a gear all right I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did I say the eruption? I'm sorry about that one. It should be Havoc plus Blade, alright? Beast plus Blade, Havoc plus Blade, or Havoc plus Havoc. But anyways, guys, you can actually check out in the 
description section below to get a total description on what sort of like uh, gear you can actually equip on her all right so obviously uh, when you are talking about the weapon the shirt and the pants you really don't need to worry about the primary stat because it's a flat stat no need to worry about that but when you are talking about the additional stats or the sub stats you really need to go with the speed boost as the first stage okay critical damage boost then attack percentage boost and the critical rate boost all right so uh, nearly like this gear is nearly perfect uh, except for that resist all right if only i had the critical rate percentage boost then that would have been so awesome all right so uh, uh uh next thing is that like when you are talking about the gloves and the necklace obviously speed boost is the primary stat okay no questions asked you just do it right away the next thing is the helmet all right when it comes to the helmet the shoes and the ring please try to go with the you know like critical damage boost and the attack percentage boost all right but if you really lack the critical rate boost in your sub stats you really are not able to make at least more than like 80 to 90 percent of your critical rate boost uh, in your stats then go with the critical rate boost as the primary stat on your helmet all right or else you can just go with the critical damage boost just try to mess up a lot more of damage all right and that is pretty much it so uh seems like this is this is it for this uh, event for today i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contest of my channel and see you guys in the next video all right